What's up, boxing fans? This is Anna here to do another boxing analysis. Uh, this analysis is between Nonito, the Filipino Flash Donaire, versus Tashiaki Nishioka. This fight, I've been waiting for this fight for so long. Something to really, really give these two fighters that I'm both fans of their significant career, super career win. No matter if it's by split decision, decision, I know they won it by knockout. That'll really make their legend even more or higher. But if they win by decision, either one, that's going to be a huge, huge, huge thing for their career. It will boost them up even higher. Because in Japan, Tashiaki Nishioka is famous. He's one of the biggest names there, point blank period. I mean, the guy... He has so much skill in there. He beat Rafael Marquez by just jabbing it. He's another uh, masterful boxer. He's really, really, really took his craft of pure boxing serious. Now, I'm not just talking about throwing hands. I'm talking about the footwork, the timing, the fluent motion side to side. That's what I'm talking about when I talk about being a true boxer and, and, and what you bring to the table. Uh, you know, I, I just love to see them throw so many punches and bunches. That that's 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 what I like to see and, and I know that they're gonna come forward with each other at some time in the fight. Of course they're gonna go out the filling filling out process, you know, jabbing, moving side to side and whatnot. But um I'm telling you, this fight you cannot miss this fight. This fight is gonna be just fireworks and you gotta understand in this division of uh, 122 pounds, Tashiaki Nishioka is number one right now. So for him to be number one with a record of 39 and four, is just it just lets you know of where he is right now. Um, those four losses were kind of early in his career, and then he had a couple or whatever, a little bit in the middle of his career. But I think he's went on a um, a roll of I don't know 14 straight wins 13 straight wins something like that so he's really 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 ready right now and he can punch he has 24 knockouts 39 or 4 for 20 20 yeah 24 knockouts um, you know right behind Tashiaki Nishio you got Guerrero Rigdale at number two and Donaire at number three so it's the top you know in the top three these guys are facing each other and no needle even said why would I face number two and risk so much and not face number one? You know, I've worked my way. Um, you know, he's on a crazy fight winning streak too of like 20, yeah, 28, you no, know, uh, with 18 knockouts. Even though he has one loss on his resume, no needle does, but uh, that's here nor there. Um, he's 29 to 1, 18 knockouts uh, from the Philippines, you know, repping the Bay Area, of course. Uh, titles, he has the WBO and the IBF title. No, Nito is a masterful boxer himself. He takes his craft very, very seriously. If you don't think he does, watch some of his highlights. Watch the Fernando Montiel second round destruction by left hook. And it was just perfect timing. Punch with the puncher. Uh, taking risks. That's what he does. That's why he's such an exciting, exciting boxer. You know, muy fuerte. Left and right hand. He punches so well. Uh... He does this, uh, it's called the, the flash roll or the Filipino, you know, where you, you jump back and forth and you throw left and right uppercuts. You know, you jump from one side, throw an uppercut, then you might jump to the next side. You know, it's all about angles and switching sides, switching positions, using different angles to frustrate your opponent and get them off point. So when you do land a punch, they don't even know where it's coming from, and that's the most frustrating thing you can do, you know, most frustrating thing you can do to anybody is not let them set up and hit you. So, I don't know, I see this fight, I see this fight, if it's total to toe action, I see you know, Nilo Donaire dropping Tashiaki Nishioka in one of these rounds, and I see Tashiaki Nishioka dropping No Nito, dropping No Nito with either a uh, stupendous left hook to the body or a right uppercut to the body which he's really really good at or I see Tashiaki Nishioka using a lot of good fluent combinations one two three fours and catching him with something that Nonito did not see and Nonito's either dropping or you know and getting back up and I see it going to a decision um, 
You know, sorry to spoil, you know, the boxing fans that want to knock out, but I see both of them getting knocked down, at least one of them getting knocked down in this fight, and I see it, it, they're just too strong mentally and physically, and they both have very good skill sets, and they're very smart. See, if one of them wasn't very smart, then I'd be like, okay, that person is more than likely to be knocked out or knocked out. Anybody can be knocked out, but I just feel that their boxing skills will carry them to a 12-round decision. And... I feel that Nonito, because of his training, because of everything that he does, you know, the plyometrics training, he does a lot of things with strength and conditioning with the ropes and climbing rope, jumping rope for conditioning, the, the running, the miles, the different way that he stretches his body, the different way that he, uh, you know, spars and spars up and down where he'll spar somebody that's real, real low lower than him, like 10 pounds lower, 5 pounds lower for speed, and then he'll spar somebody and it's 10, 15 more pounds heavier than so you get used to the power. And then he does uh, the training, the elevation type training where, you know, you sit in the, the elevation chamber and you get red blood cells to your body. That helps immensely in boxing. Your red blood cells keep you from getting tired. The more red blood cells you produce, the more likely you will not get this tired throughout the fight. And Nonel Donera has learned that and he's took that with uh, Victor Conte and they, you know, made a masterful plan on how to keep the energy level up to a high elite peak level. So I feel that Nonel Donera will win by split decision. I feel that one of those judges will get Tashiaki Nishioka benefit of the doubt, you know, saying that it was a close, it's going to be a close fight. It's not going to be a blowout. Like I said, they're both masterful counter punchers. They can both come forward. You know, they both throw lots of great combinations. So I see Nonito winning split 12 round decision. You guys tell me what you think in the comment section below. And um, I think the money punch for Nonito will be his counter check left hook and those left uppercuts that he throws at weird angles where he jumps and he throws them. You know, I, I think that's going to be the big difference. His uh, his speed. But, oh, just to let you know, anything can happen. Remember, he's number one right now. So, I feel I like Tashiaki Nishioka, too. Yeah, the way he could win, just his combinations coming forward, going, using angles with no Nino. Know, because that's the how you beat uh, a person who's a boxer. you, you got to keep a jab in their face. If he's going to beat, I think the jab is the key to any beating anybody. You saw in the Sergio Maravilla Martinez fight, that speedy jab. And that footwork, and they're using a the side-to-side -side motion. Really confused who we are. I don't care if he did get caught using weed or marijuana or whatever. But I feel that Sergio had the skill that night. It was the jabs. He used so many. I think he had like 250 jabs that he threw and landed. I don't know, 103 of them or 95, something like that. So jabbing is very key essential in boxing. That should be your baby. That should be your bread and butter, your basic is your jab. And I think Tashiaki has a great jab. If he uses that throughout the fight, he can make it an easier night for him and coast to a 12-round decision and say he beat the Filipino Flash, Donet, who hasn't been beat in years. Years. And that'll captivate his career to superstar crazy status, even though I feel he's a superstar boxer anyways. And a class box, class act anyway. But um, yeah, I have no needle, 12-round split decision. If it is a T if it is a knockout, it'll be a TKO knockout in the later rounds. So um, yes, this is Ant with my analysis. Nonito Donaire by split four round decision. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget. All right, uh, hit you back with more boxing analysis. And, uh, this is Ant reporting.